Hey, welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty with Allison Maloney. Happy Monday to you. Tomorrow marks one year since that infamous Politico leak on the draft of the Supreme Court opinion that ultimately overturned Roe versus Wade. Pretty remarkable that it's yeah. been a, a year. And on Friday afternoon, the Wall Street Journal had a report that Justice Alito claims that he has a pretty good idea of who the leaker was. And joining us now is an expert on the Supreme Court, the attorney who helped get Clarence Thomas confirmed and co-author of Created Equal, Clarence Thomas in his own words, Mark Paoletta. Mark, thanks for joining us. So, yeah, this news coming out, Justice Alito says that the leaker wasn't a conservative but won't say names. Uh, what do you think he knows and, and why keep it hidden? I think the, the justice, and I think a lot of the people, court watchers, kind of think they know who it is. But it's, as the justice said in that interview, it's a different sort of level of certainty in terms of naming somebody. I think the court didn't have the resources, actually, to kind of look into who and determine who leaked that, that, that opinion. I do think it came from a left-wing uh, law clerk uh, to undermine the Dobbs decision, which was in draft. And it was kind of the beginning, uh, ratcheting up of the attack on the Supreme Court. Now it was showing that the Supreme Court was no longer the playpen of the left, right? That everything that the left wanted, they'd get through the Supreme Court. This was the first time ever uh, that an entire opinion was leaked from the Supreme Court. Um, I hope they catch it one day. I've been involved with leak investigations in the government as a general counsel of agencies and the like, uh, and up on uh, Capitol Hill. And it's very difficult to find leakers. Uh, and in this case, with the Supreme Court, you know, you, I, I'm not an advocate of bringing in the FBI. So law enforcement, or subpoenas. I don't want the FBI tramping around the Supreme Court and looking at their internal workings because that's generally a bad idea. And particularly with this FBI, I wouldn't trust them, uh, you know, as far as I could throw them. Do you have an opinion on who the leaker might be a year later? I'm probably in the same camp as a lot of people. You read and you piece together things. Uh, somebody who has a motive, in my view, to, to undermine the court's work, uh, who is willing to do anything to stop this. You know, I think there's many on the left who think you know, the ends justify the means. And this was a way to stop the court from or try to stop the court from going forward with this opinion. What I think is that silver lining, if you will, is that these attacks on the court, which have led to assassination attempts, right, have, have an, an, an illegal protest outside the justices' homes, has really galvanized the court. Uh, and you saw that last week with Chief Justice Roberts basically staring down Congress and saying, I'm not coming to testify because there's a separation of powers and I don't report to you. Yeah, you mentioned those assassination threats on MSNBC. They criticized Supreme Court Justice Alito for referencing assassination threats in a Wall Street Journal interview. Take a listen. So sorry to interrupt your workflow, Justice Alito. It's just a decision about whether or not millions of people with uteruses across the country can access the most commonly used method of abortion. But sorry for bothering you. The headline of his newly published interview in The Wall Street Journal is, This Made Us Targets of Assassination which is definitely some kind of headline. All right, Mark, conservative justices, they were harassed at their homes when their family was sitting in their homes. What's your reaction to this? Uh, you know, I don't watch MSNBC. <laughs> I, I haven't even seen that clip. It's utterly despicable um, and just shows you the left doesn't care about safety of the justices. They're making fun of them. The justices, I, I know some of the justices, I've been around them, they are under 24 hours security, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. At their homes, they have to travel with security. Their kids, you know, have security. So the idea of making fun of this is absolutely despicable and shows you, as I said, that they don't care. All they care about, right, it's just like Justice Thomas said in, in the book you mentioned, that they don't care about your life, they don't care about anything. Yeah. All they care about is getting what they want. Um, just about 15 seconds left. Uh, if we don't identify who the leaker is, what happens if this happens again? I, well, I think it's unfortunately um, I, the court it's, it was disrupted by this leak, uh, but I think they've, they, they, they're they regaining that trust and moving forward. But it was a despicable. I, I think it also showed you weren't going to, you know, yeah. tear down an opinion uh, uh, by leaking it. Good point, Mark. I always appreciate you coming on and breaking stuff down for us. Uh, it, it amazed me when I read that this morning. We are one year removed yeah. from that leak. Yeah. It was the biggest story in America when it happened. Uh, Mark Paoletta will pick this up again soon. Thank you.